Good morning and happy Sabbath. Glad that you're with us here on LLBN His Word this morning. Happy Sabbath, Ganem. Happy Sabbath to you, Daryl, as well. Well, we have a great lineup today to start with. Of course, we have uh, Pastor Randy Roberts with part seven, which is the finale of his uh, Understandable right. series. Now, this is a series that um, it has had some interruptions in the middle, and I'm going to suggest when you have some time, go to LLBN.TV and go to our video archive, our library, and binge watch this series, mm. one through seven, all of them. You know, picking them up one week at a time is one thing, but the second time around, you're going to pick up a lot out of this that uh, you hadn't picked out of it in the first airing. I'm going to do that myself, Daryl. Yeah. Thanks for the recommendation. And um, then at uh, 2 o'clock, immediately following the, uh, the late service, the 1145 uh, service, um, we have worship, LLBN worship, 2 o'clock with uh, Pastor Harold Zapata. And uh, his subject is Redeeming Sinful Human Nature. Hmm. That's a, uh, well, that's the story of salvation. We don't hear enough about that these yeah, days. Yeah, that is the gospel. So tune in at uh, 2 o'clock for the gospel with Pastor Harold Zapata. Now at uh, 6.30 p.m., we have uh, Pastor Ernie Castillo, Christian Connections, with his final part three of If God is a God of Love, Why is There So Much Pain, Sorrow, Suffering, and Heartache? This was a uh, really powerful Christian Connections, the whole series was. Hmm. Is that something we can have on the web as well? It's there. Okay. And this is another series that I'm going to suggest you go to LLBN.TV, go to the video library, and um, watch all three of these in a row. That question there in this topic is something that every one of us has to deal with. Well, the life... The world full of these issues and concerns, yeah. and, and, and there's no one out there immune from dealing with any of these right here. Yeah. So 6.30 p.m. or LLBN.TV and watch it whenever you want. And um, then Tuesday, coming up live, on Tuesday we have Pastor Guillermo Borda, and uh, this is a uh, speaker that you've probably seen on a number of shows, not just on Christian Connections. He's one, one of the rotation of speakers on LLB and Worship Friday night. And, of course, GPS. That's right. He's one of the regulars on GPS. So tune in Tuesday, 6 p.m. This will be a lively show. So, Daryl, you listed three fantastic speakers are watched nationwide mm -hmm. in a week and are watched around the world through LLBN. Pastor Roberts, mm -hmm. Pastor Borde, and then our new young pastor, Harold Zapata. Yes. Or someone you will see a whole lot more here on LLBN mm -hmm. in the upcoming weeks and months. Uh, praise God that we have such great theologians continue nurturing this ministry and reaching to the masses mm -hmm. around the world, teaching them and helping them dissect the word of God in a more, in a more ways that make sense, in ways that connects with scripture accurately. And the um, dissecting the word of God and helping people to 
build the word of God into their own life and lifestyle. That's right. It's, uh, you know, people think of the Bible as, ah, that's the spiritual side. And then there's real life. Well, Mm-mm. the Bible is full of real life. The two connect together in a healthy, in a great way, in a divine way. We connect the words with our lifestyle and things will set straight for us. Life will make better sense. Mm-hmm. We become more of a blessing to those who come around us. So it's not just ethereal and spiritual. It's real. The application yes. of how we apply that into our day-to-day lifestyle. Yeah. And, uh, you know, speaking of what's on air on uh, LLBN next weekend is Easter weekend. Sunday is Easter Sunday. Um, and, you know, a lot of family get together on these holidays. And uh, LLBN, his word, will be a great channel to have on in the background. Mm. There will be, it'll be all concerts, movies, music. Movies as? As in, well, the book of John, the story of uh, Jesus Christ. One of these movies is three hours long. That's the book of John, which is word for word. From the Bible. From the book of John. And then the Jesus movie, which is literally six hours long. Mm. It goes through his entire life. And uh, so Sabbath afternoon, Saturday night, um, all day Sunday will be uh, family time on LLBN. Wonderful. Yes. Well, let's talk about our sponsors. Yes, those... These are reflections of the folks who keep us on the air 24-7. Yes. We have the Greg family from Massachusetts, the Lou family from Ohio, the Nicholson family from New York, and the Lavoy family from Tennessee. Thank you. Thank you so much, folks. LLBN is preaching the word of God unto the world 24-7. And the results are phenomenal. The Holy Spirit at work through the airways of this ministry, Mm -hmm. touching the hearts of the men and women who are seeking God and who happen to be watching LLBN. And that's because of your support to help us make that a reality. Yes. And uh, speaking of our viewers, we have a little note here from Brian and Jennifer from California. We so enjoy your religious programs and also the very educational programs we watch on Smart Lifestyle TV. Enclosed is a token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. And, you know, if you haven't written to us yet with your, what you enjoy, what you would like to see, the address down here, um, you can write to us there, or you can email us at info at LLBN.tv. And, uh, you know, speaking of what's down here below us, that phone number is goes to our uh, prayer line, and it's open 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time every day. You can call, speak with somebody, Pray with somebody, and um, whatever's on your mind, they'll talk with you. And all prayers kept confidential. Absolutely. Everything stays confidential. You can also call and pray with someone or someone that Mm -hmm. you love or care or concerned about. Is when Jesus said, when two or more gather in my name, I'll there am I in their midst. So take advantage of this free service. So we have a Bible verse to uh, talk about next here. Yes. Uh, Isaiah 61.3. And it says, To counsel those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil 
of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Hmm. Now, I, I chose this, this verse, Daryl, because there's such a beauty in it. In, the, in, in, the, in those days, when you lose someone or have something tragic happen to your family or a big loss, part of your mourning is you reach out for dirt or dust or ashes and you put on your head as a gesture of, of pain and sorrow. You demonstrate that to your loved ones, to your community, but often it's, it's something where you are in so much spiritual and emotional pain. By doing so, you are demising yourself. You are punishing yourself when you do that because mm. it, it, it happens from the heart. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the Lord yet, and the Lord, he promised the Israelites that to give them beauty for ashes. Mm. So he will take the pain and the sorrow and the sadness and, and, and the hurt and the disappointment, which is represented in ashes in those days, wiped and rubbed against their head and foreheads mm. into a beauty because that's the God we serve, God did not create us to be in pain or sorrow or to be in sadness or in distress. Yeah. Yes, they will be some because the rules of this universe and the rules of sin tends to have us face all these things. But our mighty God, a, 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 the same God then is the same God today and he's the same God in the future. He will, he will give you beauty for ashes. So if you are mourning or you are in pain or sorrow or, or holding something that it's bothering you and emotionally or spiritually, get down on those knees and go to God, the mighty creator, the mighty creator, and lean on him and he will bring beauty for your ashes, for your sadness. There's seasons of all type of mm -hmm. seasons of pain, season of sickness, season of financial burdens, seasons of variety of uh, uh, disappointments in our lives. So we can't just give up. God does not want us to live that way. We need to depend on his beauty. That's what the mission of LLBM, folks, if we don't share the glory of God into the world, there'll be so many souls hurting and they will never discover the beauty that God brings to us, to our souls. That, uh, that verse brought to mind um, Pastor Ernie Castillo and his trio of shows. So with the programs that comes on LBN, it comes healing, not from us, a healing from the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. God commissioned the Holy Spirit to come and be with you at all times. Going back, uh, backward in that book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1, the Spirit of the Lord God is on me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and freedom to the prisoners. Uh, what a great promise. That's, again, the same God of yesterday as he is today, as he is of, of tomorrow. He is interested in you. He loves you. He loves his creations. And this is what LLBN is doing, folks, through your help, this ministry out there, sharing the good news of God. This could be our mission statement. <laughs> well, in every That's sense, That's a powerful it is. is. Daryl? Ah, and we talked about uh, binge watching. You go to LLBN.TV, and this is the home page here. Um, you can just click this button right here in the middle and watch whatever is live, what's going on. That's right. And then you have the other options of our other channels right. above that. All those that stay up there and above that is our video library, giving, get involved. This uh, website is full of tools for you to use. Yes. Well, folks, keep us in your prayers. 
Let us do the work together to reach into the worlds with the good news of Jesus. And let's make beauty of ashes for all those who are suffering out there. Thank you for being with us. Have a happy Sabbath and stay tuned for a lot of blessing this afternoon.